Graham Show. This girl desperately wants her friend to give up the gang life. I ain't scared. I am. My house got shot up. Then an ex-gang member tries to flee his sisters. I'm still here. Wait, I ain't going nowhere. This is a lonely, sad home. Later, Bill brings in an expert who does more than make an impression. You weak as water, soft as cotton. Let me tell you. you, you, you it's all right now on the Bill Cunningham Show. Thanks for coming in and thanks for watching. Our guests today are living on the edge as gang members, and they're not about to change, no matter what their loved ones say. Please welcome Nikita to the show. Nikita, how you doing? I'm fine. How are you, Bill? How are you? Tell me about your friend Terrell. What's going on okay, with Terrell? Okay, first of all, Terrell is in a gang, and it's a just nasty, out of control. A nasty, violent oh, street gang. Yes, it's out of control. My brother's been shot. The house has been shot up. He has one foot in jail and one foot in the grave basically yeah. and it's just out of control and he will not stop it's just so many things that's been going on and his mind frame is just set on sticking to the being in the and game. Terrell is simply a platonic friend of yours that you've known for how many years yes, I've been knowing Terrell since I was 11 years old long time he's been in the game ever since I've known but him. to you Terrell's like a family member yeah to you. he's someone more like you, family. you love for is like a brother yes yes what, what's going on what do you see physically that is dangerous to Terrell and dangerous to everybody around him first of all Terrell robbed someone for weed, took everything that he had, made him strip butt naked while I was in the car with him. As I understand it, you two were driving and you thought he jumped out of the car and you to watched. To buy some weed. To buy weed, but Not he didn't buy. Not for me, but for himself. He, he, didn't, he didn't buy the ganji. What happened? He, when he took everything from the guy. He robbed the guy at gunpoint, made the guy undress himself and everything. And stripped took everything him right he there? Had. Yes. Yes. Took all of his money yes. and his drugs. Yes. Got back everything. in the car. Got back in the did car. Did you feel like an accomplice? I mean, if the cop Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You and were scared. I'm marked. Me and my brother are marked because we know him, you know? Uh, what other incidents? Talk about the time the house was shot. Okay, now. Terrell had to move out of the city because of this issue, because of the game. He came back into the city just visiting, and we were at my brother's house playing dominoes and cars, just having fun, and he wasn't there, but his car was. And next thing you know, like, in the midst of it all, someone just starts shooting at the house, like, and we're all in there, like, oh, my God. And I'm just glad that my kids weren't there. I do have kids, and that's why I'm like, I'm not you about dove, that. You dove under the sofa. Yeah, you're going to yeah, get killed. I'm, yeah, I was And your scared. brother, talk about when your brother was my shot brother in the groin. was shot in his groin. They told him that he could not have kids, and this was some... It was a couple of not years ago. He was shot in the groin. On the East retaliation Ray. because of yes, Terrell. Yes, because of Terrell. So it if you were around me. Terrell, if you go to a restaurant with Terrell. Yes. Oh, and oh, let me tell you about that incident. Please do. We're going to a restaurant, going for dinner. Next thing you know, guys just jump out and start jumping him. Someone even pulled out a knife. And I'm so scared. I'm a female. I'm not going to jump and fight. Him. I'm not going to jump and fight men. I'm, I'm a girl. I'm a woman. I'm not going to fight men. I'm scared for my life. And that still hasn't changed anything. And, and there's been bomb threats. Yes. Against your mom's home, his the mother mom, of Terrell. Yes, his Terrell, mom. Ter Terrell's yes. mother has gotten bomb threats from rival gang members. Yes, yes. What you do know, you want to see? Nikita, what do you want to see happen today? I want today? to see him stop it. He needs to stop. He has one foot in jail and one in the grave. I don't want to die. I have two children to live for. I don't want my brother to die. I don't want anyone else hurt. Please welcome Nikita's friend, Terrell, to the show. Terrell, come on out. It's too loud. Have a seat, Terrell. Terrell, you've heard what Nikita's saying. Now hold on here. Uh, do you admit? Do you admit that you're in a violent street gang? No, nah, man. I mean, I mean, yes, yeah, but at the same time, my it ain't like that. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Tell no, us man. what it's like. What about the one incident? Right, you check a car this out. With a check gun. this out. Hold on. Uh, check this out. I can't believe you straight on here saying I you wild, but. I don't want to make you check angry, Terrell. I don't want to get you angry, but I'm tell cool. me about the I'm incident cool, with the bro, gun. Look, check this out. I ain't talking. I don't want to talk about that. But I will say this: we stay in the hood. You know what I'm saying? We live in the hood, so anytime anything happen, blame it on me, y'all. It's because you did something to because somebody. You did. Oh, man, stop it! What I do? You did everything. What didn't you do? Do you think that's okay? What? Do you I think that's man. okay I, to be yeah, scared? Look, like, really? No, I ain't scared. I am. It's not about you. But what did you scared of? I'm dying. I have kids. Do you rob people? Nah. Yes. You know your mom's, you know her house got shot up? 
Your mom's been victimized what? with bomb wait threats. Minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The house getting shot up. That, yeah, you gonna, you can't blame that because on me. Because your car was there before your car got there. My car was the only car there. It. it was a whole but bunch of was there. there. Watch your but language a little bit. Were you born into the gang? Talk about your affinity, your love for the gang. You, you told him one of my producers. I mean, like, you were like born this. into the gang. It's like this. That's family. You know what I'm saying? Just like, just like they my family, that's family. So... Just like I, I'm a, just like couldn't nobody tell me, ah, oh, don't deal with them or walk away from them. Can't they can't tell me that about you know what I'm saying? The game, you know what I'm saying? How y'all going? What does the gang give you? you? Terrell, hold on, honey. What does the gang give you? Huh? Do they give you love, respect, loyalty? What does the gang I give mean, you? I mean, it's a, it's just my affiliation, man. It's what I do. It's what I've been doing, and, and it's, it's 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 good for me. You I mean, stop. basically now it's gang. all about you getting money for me. You know what I'm saying? How do you make money? How money. do you make money in the gang? I hustle. I get my money. I You're get not time clocking. How do you make money? Are you doing things? I don't want to talk about specifics, but are you doing things? Yes. Are you doing things to get money? That shall we say are Everybody illegal. Everybody got to do things to get money. Ain't nobody just giving it to you. Get a job. Get a job. You know, uh -huh. most Americans. Your job Why might not be my job. So how what? you gonna tell to me how to get my money? Is it your job to be a robber? Huh? Is it your job to rob? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he does. Is he it your does. job to do illegal things? Huh? Is it your job to do illegal things to get money? It drives on prostitution what you call illegal. numbers. Laws were meant to be broken. <laughs> no. Yes, they were. No, they were. No, well, they not. That's I don't know. stupid. That's what you illegal. consider illegal. You don't illegal, care about right? nobody. Man, look. When you gonna stop? Like, Chill do out. you not care? Like, huh? we blood, blood wouldn't make us any closer. How would you feel that. if she was killed? Your you, friend. But what if your friend was killed? I mean, her brother got shot in the groin because he driving Man, your car. And again, and again. Just a coincidence. Hold up. Let me let me give you let me give you some background right Go now. Go ahead, Troy. Let me Go give you some background. I, I, so I'm lying. So yep. I'm about to lie. I'm about to lie. That's crazy. But let me give you some background. <laughs> her brother, my partner, he. Watch your language a little bit, Terrell. Right. This is a I got television you. I got show. you. I got right. you. I got you. He ain't no saint. You hear me? He, it ain't about he, him. But wait a minute though. You would say, ah, uh, he driving your car, so he got shot. But he ain't no saying how you know it wasn't some who somebody he did something to that seen him in my car. Now my car got shot. You know what I'm saying? Look at the coincidences. Bomb threats against your mother's home. Shots fired into her home. About that. Her brother shot in the groin. He's in your car. Uh, she watches you jump out of a car and rob some dude, strip him naked, and take his money and you drugs. Know, what is it going to take? What you already it take? lost a close Terrell, friend. what would it take uh -huh. to give up the gang lifestyle? I'll put it to you like this. You're going to get killed. You're going to get her killed. No, no, I'm not. No, I ain't. I'm not gonna die because of. Have I'm you just seen friends you know. of yours killed? Huh? Have you have friends of yours got killed? Yeah. You have? How many? Huh? Probably like. <laughs> if I would have asked Sad. them the day before they were shot, you know, are you gonna get shot? Ah, not me. I'm different. I mean, of course I've had. And who 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 don't got a friend that got killed or shot or but something happened to them? But it's because of you. It was because of you. Well, if they ain't get killed or shot, they died. It's because of you. You got a friend that you know, died. Terrell, Everybody people, got a friend that died. I don't know anybody has gotten shot. Huh? I don't, but I live maybe a different lifestyle. You privileged, Bill. Maybe that have nothing to do with it because it's what you make your life. Your life is what you make. My it. Not life about is good, what you though. Try. How is that good by being a gangbanger? Talking about and getting jumped on. Everywhere we go, we got to duck and dodge. Don't know who to look for because they looking for you. I'm not trying to, I have kids. Like, what is it going to take, Terrell? Terrell, maybe today you'll get a wake up call. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. The man who claims he was shot because of Terrell's gang affiliation is here. Don't miss the confrontation. Bill, I it's like this. I lost I'm my gonna do me. I lost my well I to like my it, you do you flat out. And later, an explosive face-off. Stop yeah. tripping. Yeah. Sit your big yeah. down. You sit your yeah. And anger like we've never seen. Come on with it. I was born by myself, I'm gonna die by myself. So if you choose not to deal with me because of who I am, then that's on them. Can't do nothing about that. Our guests today fear for their lives and those of their loved ones. They're telling them today, quit the gang or I'm gonna quit you. Let me ask you this, Nikita. The problem as I see it is you love him in a platonic way like a brother. 
and you yeah. see him going down a dangerous path. Yes, he sees it too. He sees it, but I, I would like to think part of the reason he's here is because there might be a small part of him that may want to change a little bit. Do you sense that or not? No, I don't think so, but he needs to change because if he doesn't, I'm going to disown him. But the sad thing is I'm marked. Even if I was to say, okay, I'm not cool with him anymore, I'm not cool with Terrell, people are still going to see me as his sister. So I'm just scared that someone's going to try to get me. Like, if I feel like, you know what I'm saying, I need to make a change, then I'll do that. But I'm going to do that when I feel like it or when I want to, not just because somebody's over here saying, oh, I think I'm going to get hurt from being well, with you. Well, what don't is be it going me. to take? You've lost someone. But I, this is all coincidence like, and stuff. I can't no, sit here and say that happened because of me. Please welcome Nikita's brother, Darius, to the show. Darius, come on out. Like, bro, you steady lying and stuff for nothing, bro. Like, straight up just petty, bro. Watch your language. Darius, have How a seat. How you going to say you get shot was because of me? Explain. Well, uh, let's explain. Uh, first, let's get the story out. What happened to you? What happened to you? What happened to me was on Easter Sunday of 2009, you know what I'm saying? I felt like I was kind because dude went out of town, you know what I'm saying? He, he went out of town and some stuff went down over, over robbery gone bad. I ain't know nothing about it, you know what I'm saying? Nothing about it. I'm at my auntie's house. I'm at my auntie's house. I'm at my auntie's house. I see a white money caller ride past with a white money caller ride past with it. I ain't really pay too much mind to it. It was tinted out. But you know what I'm saying? Who ain't tinted out up on the north side? It's St. Louis City, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So as the car rolled past, you know what I'm saying? I'm going back up in the house. And then when I'm coming back out, about to get ready to slide out, they hit the block. Soon they hit the block, whatever. Everybody, everybody outside. It was about what, about four, or five people outside. You know what I'm saying? Because I want the only one that got shot. It was a triple shooting, and you know what I'm saying. Anybody can look it up on the internet. It was there, St. Louis City. Why right. do you think you were shot that day? I was shot because of him. I was in his car. How you? How can you how, prove it? How, uh, tell me exactly how you were shot because of me. The reason I'm knowing I was shot because of him is because of some fact of the matter. Dollar, you about to sit up and straight up act like you want your I'm fault? I'm trying though. to tell you. Though, you said he said it was because of me. Tell me how. Bro, it was because of you, because number one, I was up in your car. and What's that mean? That, on top of that, I'm been dual car and on top of that bill, you know what I'm saying? I don't, anytime I hit them blocks and my whip or anything else, don't nobody shoot at me because they already know. Terrell, you know what your saying? mother's it's house has a, has a threat of a bombing. In her house, shots are fired and she's uh, on the floor. You, I'm a, I'm her brother listen, gets shot in the groin Bill. because he's in your car. And you think it's all coincidence? You don't listen, I know. I heard what you're saying, like, damn, that's a lot of coincidence. Yeah. But <laughs> That's a at lot. the same time, it really is though. Like I like like I can't sit here and say I can't pinpoint now one of them one now one of them things that happened. What about the twenty that guys that jumped you at the restaurant a, and beat the heck right. out of you? What about that? No twenty guys jumped How many beat jumped the hell out of me? My main point, in fact, is some fact of the matter, either dude, either dude gonna lead the nonsense along, you know what I'm saying, he gonna straight up end up losing a friend. Look at at some day. point, might dude you have to bully, avoid you him completely? Dude, dude, dude a big bully, flat out dude, a fat, fat bully, you hear me? Yeah, oh. y'all have issues, y'all have static, y'all call me, I'll come through, it ain't a problem then. You know do what I'm you saying? sometimes use his connections no, no, for benefit? It ain't no, a problem no, then, no, but no, don't do no, it. No, 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 at some point, might you say I can't be around this guy? Are you ready to break off? It's like this, hold up, it's like this. Bill, I shook him after I lost my career. I'm gonna do me. After I lost my career, I had to break my lease. Y'all do y'all, flat out. Bill, Bill. Well, you Hold on, Darius. Bill, look, Bill. Hold on, Derek. Bill, I'm, Bill, I'm down, I'm, I'm down for six months. You remember six months? You're gonna get out I'm of the lifestyle. At what point? Nobody. At what point will enough be enough? Nobody. At what point? Look, you got your buddy shot. You got shots fired at your other. You got your mother's house threats of firebombing. You Man, got you steady repeating all this that and told you, and I'm telling you that ain't the case. Yes, it so is. So quit yes. saying it. He not gonna stop. Point blank period. And if he don't stop, that's all well. I'm not gonna mess with him no more, and I will get a restraining order. Well, looks if like I we have that, our decision. Well, then that's on well, you. Well, later in the show, later in the show, we have a friend. gang extraction expert coming. A guy, a guy yeah, that no might help. be able to help. Man, I'm well, are you willing to, to listen? No. You know, are you no. willing to no. You ready to listen? No. I'm telling you, no. 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 One last. You let a gang. Darius, let me. Darius, go ahead. One last time. Thing about it is, I, like this, what this, this, this what topped everything. I'm out. Bill, Bill, this what, Bill, this what topped everything. I hear him calling himself rapper. That's basically saying he ain't got nothing else to say because he don't got nothing to say. He ain't trying to hurt nothing else because it's about the matter. He ain't really losing nothing. He ain't losing. He ain't really losing nothing but time. You heard me, Terrell. I, do you know what you're doing is wrong? I almost lost my life. Do you know damn, whatever? Feel, without defining what you're cool doing, man. do you know what you're doing is wrong? Know Might be, wrong. but Might be. On, we'll be back with more. Stay right there. Female gangbangers. If I'm a single mother you with five listen. kids. If it's out there to give me money, I have to get you out. Money. Brutal.
sexual violence. Some guy come up and hit me in the head with a beer bottle. I got knocked out, had to get five staples in my head. And an unbelievable intervention. You don't want to miss it. You weak as water, soft as cotton, and creamy like buttermilk. Let me tell you, Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you're in the New York area, be a part of our studio audience. Go to BillCunninghamShow.com or call us at 1-888-710-TICKET. Our guests today don't know where to turn. Their loved ones are gang members, and they want them out of that lifestyle before they wind up in jail or a coffin. Please welcome George to the show. George, how you doing? I'm doing good, Bill. How you doing? Before we talk about your two sisters, we're talking about the state of Montana. Uh, talk a little bit about your life and why you have expert advice to give to your two sisters who are now in a gang lifestyle. How did you come up, George? Well, I'm a former gangbanger, you know. Um, I've been through the, the violence. Uh, I've done eight years in prison. Eight years? Yes. Uh, when I was 13 years old, the, the gang, uh, my brother came back from California, and uh, they had me run into a bank and rob it. And at 14 years old, I robbed a bank. Um, because you get kiddie time, you don't get adult time. Exactly, and that's, that's what they put in my head. How many years were you in the gang lifestyle? From, From the age I was 13 until uh, three years ago, um, 27. Wow, a long 13, time. You did eight years, a bunch of prison three times, eight years most recently. And so you know what happens when you're in a gang, the violence, the expectations. And now, when you were in prison, I understand your two blood sisters did what? My two sisters, they got uh, jumped in the gang behind my back. And it just, it just breaks my heart that my sisters would have to go through the same thing that I went through, you know what I'm saying? And put my mother and their father through the same thing. And they got children. And while I was in prison, my homeboys, they were my friends. They said they had my back. They jumped in my two sisters into the gang. Has your house been shot up now and, and things? While like I was in prison, my, my house got shot up due, due to them being involved in a gang. Some other gang wasn't happy with that particular My gang. mom and dad's house at that. Mom and dad? With, with my little nephew that was two years old. What do you want to see happen today, George? I, I want them to quit, you know. I want them to get out the gang because they got to choose their children or the, the gang lifestyle, and that gang lifestyle was going to take everything from them. Please welcome George's sister, Carmelita, to the show. Carmelita, come on in. All right, Carmelita, you've heard you what you, go ahead. You've heard what George is saying. What's going on? This is my life. I'm gonna live it the way I live it. Yeah, I know you're upset about you, you, the kids. You, you gotta and everything, get out of it, man. Mom and Dad's house got shot up because of you, because of you and the gang and, and Whisper. Yeah, but this is how we're gonna live it, though. This is our life. We don't. You should see what I went through. I, I lost all my kids. I lost. I lost my wife, my kids. I have nothing now. I had to start from scratch. From 27 years old, I have to start from zero. And then you, you. You, at 30 years old, you want to start from zero? You want to lose your children? I ain't going to lose my kids. This isn't, I want... How many kids do you have, Carmelita? I have three kids. And uh, how long have you been in the gang? Um, since 99. I can only assume in the last 13 years or so, you, I won't ask you specifics, but you've done a lot of gang-related activity in the area of criminal activity? Yes. Uh, well, how would you feel with your kids? You're three kids. You got three my, kids. They my know three kids mom don't is have a gang member? to do with this, though. I'm a, I mean... I go and do what I do on my own time. Are you a good mother? Yes, I'm a very good mother. Well, what about your oldest son? He always, he's, already, he's already looking up to everybody. He wants to be in the gang. He dresses like a gangster. He wants to get tattoos. Yeah, I know, but he's not going to be like that. He's not going to turn out like... Talk about the brawl with the, the homegirls, the five at Staples. What happened at Last Staples? Year. Last year, at, um, we were at a bar, Halloween. We were all dressed up. Um, I was walking out of the bar. Some girls were talking... I ended up fighting them. While I was fighting them, um, one of the some guy come up and hit me in the head with a beer bottle. I got knocked out. Had to get five staples in my head. Weren't you grazing the leg with a with, with a bullet? And yeah, I was grazing the leg with a bullet. Who, who shot? shot up. Hey, you told me you're a good mom, Carmelita. Yeah. How does a good mother engage in activities that allows her house to be shot up when your your babies are there? Exactly. Yeah, that was. Maybe a little intervention, a little bit of help, 
Carmelita, I mean no disrespect, but your kids have eyes and ears. They see what you're doing. The criminal activity you may be involved in, they're watching. How is it a good mother if mom is in a gang and you're engaged in criminal activity with a bunch of other people doing other criminal things? How is that being a good mother and you're putting yourself in harm's way? I, I don't want to ask a tough question, but I just did. <laughs> so how, answer that I, question. How I, is this even funny to you right now? I, I, just, I just don't, don't see, see like, I mean, this is how I want to live. This is, you know, I don't see a problem with it. I do what I do. I Can you leave the gang without consequences? Mm. Yeah. You could. So you can leave the gang George, without consequences you, because of me. Yeah, it, but, but, but. It, it, George, I could she it. leave, could, could she and Whisper, she's going to come out in a minute, actually leave this gang without violent consequences? I, I think that they could because, you know, I, I would never let nothing happen to my sisters. Is there a chance, Carmelita, we got Whisper coming out later on, that possibly you might change? Maybe. Maybe. All right, we'll be Time. right back. Stay there. Another sister struggling between her family and the gang. Five-year-old boy jumped out of a car to, to save you. Back. And the shocking moment you've been waiting for. You a clown, dude. I never heard out here being me. disrespectful. Well, you you clown, clown, and you look at you. And you, you, you want to drag him on your man. Oh, hold up, Texas, that at me you like weak. that, dog. Are you estranged from a family member? Do you want to end the feud now, but you don't know how to make peace? Maybe we can help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-USK-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Terms and conditions apply. Today's guests live in fear and it's because they have a loved one who's in a gang. Is there a chance that today they can talk them out of that lifestyle? Before we bring out your sister Whisper, economically, Carmelita, can you survive outside of this gang? Aren't there legitimate activities you can work and do things? Or does this part of Montana, is it so economically depressed that there's nowhere else to make money other than through criminal activities? Can you make, can money? make money? You can. Yeah. You can. Yes. What about that example for your kids? Wouldn't that be good? My mom, if they're teenage boys and girls, they know by this point mom's in a gang. George, does her kids know her lifestyle? Yeah, her kids know her lifestyle, you know. Her, her oldest son, he he he's like infatuated with the gang lifestyle. He and, and she don't but even he's bother doing to, a good thing about to it. see he's it. Using music, he's not going the bad way but about still, it. Though. You know, you you can sing about it and all yeah. that, but you're still they're going to be still involved. And you've been shot before. Yeah. That should be good enough for you to get out. And for your child to even say that he wants to join a gang, All right, let's that should be good enough. Please welcome George and Carmelita's sister, Whisper, to the show. Whisper, come on out. Not in the house. You don't know what we're going through, George. You, he, he you need to. You he need, does you need not to understand you need to what we're going right through. I'm a single no, mother you need with to five listen. kids. If it's yeah, out there to give listen. me money, yeah, I that have should get to you get out. money. That should get you he out of the gang. No, that should get you out of the gang. I love you and I love you. I love you And I love you, too. That's why I'm telling you. But I've been through it. He does not I've understand. Been this is not. Let's up. Everyone sit down. Whisper. Down Help me to understand. All. I want to understand. Now, when when the house got shot up here, that Explain. was not her fault. That was my fault. What happened? was looking for me. He shot up the house. I was not there. I was out putting in some work somewhere else like I so do it was every not gang, single You're saying night. it was not gang related? Um, it, 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 it was all gang related. It was all gang related. It's because of you two want to join a he gang thinks that, and get I mean, with gang, it bangers is gang related, and bring it to my mom, our thing, mom and dad's house. I understand Why would that, two beautiful women like you be in a gang for like 10, exactly. 15 years? Well, number one, though, is because I have to make money. It's either pay my rent or get the electricity bill put on. What am yeah. I going to do? Go work these jobs? Three jobs? A lot of women do. I do, though. You don't I got three jobs. Yeah. Let me tell you guys something. I got three jobs that I to do. Okay, can you pay my bills for me? No one else can pay my bills. I can go out there and hustle and get my bills paid right if, if, away if from get, me, though. If you, That's get, caught, not if you, you get, if you get caught up, if you get caught up, you're gonna go to prison. You can't do nothing for your kids. It's 1999 when I got into it. It's 2012. I'm still here. Whisper, I ain't going sit, nowhere. Sit, 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 better camp. Talk about when you moved to Seattle. Why did Whisper? Why did you move to Seattle? I, I moved to Seattle because I figured that maybe I was getting too deep into the gang. I figured I wanted to maybe go venture and actually try to get out of it. But how'd, that, how'd that work? It follows me it's everywhere. It's not it's working. Everywhere, it's everywhere I go, it's going to be because the fact that I have to make money, and that's all what it falls down 
down to is making money. But she's getting drug connections from dudes, and dudes only want one thing from a beautiful lady like you. And that's what he thinks, but that's not it, though. It's the truth. You think the gang's more reliable? Are the gangs more reliable than George? The gang? Mm. Yeah. I'm there for you no matter no, what, all the time. At the end of the day, what it all boils down to is the family's going to be there no matter what. But this is I'm all the way in Seattle, so I have to call my gang people, you know? I got to call my homegirl down the road if I need some. They'll come pick me up, and I go and make some runs for them. I got a couple thousand in my hand. I mean, what am I going to do, Bill? Well, Who's number one, there me? are tens of millions of American no women. Help me. Don't use that as an excuse. 99.9% .9 of American females do not belong in a gang to make money. Whether it's prostitution, drugs, robberies, they don't do that. They don't do that. This, this is what we do. Yeah, you're, you're two beautiful young women. The, the options are limitless. There, two there's, beautiful there's with children. You got work. how many kids? You got five? I got five kids. You, so yeah. you two have eight children together. Yeah, I got five. What yeah. example are you setting? My Whisper. youngest is five and my oldest is 14. What example are you so. setting for them? Well, I, when I set my example, I don't think I am setting an example for them. I mean, if they choose to be in the game, that's are. what they're going to do. They, I can't. I mean, I can yeah, be we, there to let them know that, you know, this is going to happen if they, they do gonna this. They're going to be able to. But I can't. I can't really. They don't see everything all the time. They don't see yeah, everything that we do. All the that's bad the thing. They don't George, see what's your deal? As the younger house. brother of these we two, what do you think her eight kids are being taught by the behavior of moms? You guys need to get out of the gang. It's not going to happen because. Hey, look at What if you get caught? What if you get caught? I don't want, even get to see my children no more, man. Do you, you want to? This is a lonely, that, sad road. That, but yeah, I have to keep walking I mean, this road not, that I'm on because no matter what, at how. the end of the day, it's only going to be me that's there for myself. We're yeah, always exactly. your kids are there for you. You need to you need to show them. I understand. Lead by example. Show, show them that that's the way. I'm not going to get out of it. That's the bottom line. That's they don't it. see the. I mean, they I'm don't put see the crazy things. They don't see the violence, but our house got shot up. Our house got shot up. The house that we was raised in. Mom and dad, they're in danger because of because of me too, but because of you too. Whisper, also. Have members of your gang been killed? Have members of your gang been shot? Oh yeah. Um, let's see. And one of the close homies got shot in '99. Yep. Um, um, let's see. Um, just in this whole month, this this five people died in this one month on the reservation. Tell, tell them about our older brother Robert first. Why can't he be here today? Why can't our older brother Robert be here today? Because he did it. Because he just he did something that he wasn't supposed to do. Well, and what happened to Robert, your older brother? Gang life. He killed he somebody. Killed somebody. He's doing a hundred years. He was hooked on that crystal meth. But you don't. You don't gotta actually be doing yeah. something. Yeah. Can, you can be smart and be in a gang. You can be you can around do, a gang member and get hurt. We just had a guest on who was not, around. No, you we can have. You can have an organized though. gang though, and and you can. We you can make it. Fights, we do That's, crazy stuff. Ladies, but is there anything anything we can do? That would allow a little bit of light into this darkened room to get you out of this lifestyle. Anything we can do. I'm just going to keep going down the road that I've been going you, down because uh, it's what's paying my bills. What am I going to do? I'm not going to. I'm tired of working three jobs. I'm stressing myself out. I'm just going to keep hustling like I've been. Move back to it's Montana. It's way easier. I'm where not, the family's where, at. I'm not going back You can to get a job and everybody will help you out. I'm not. A long, I did it. Long, I did it. I've been ago, out of the game for I, I three was, years, I was and addicted. I did it. No, I did it. What were you listen. addicted? What were you addicted? A long time ago, I was addicted to meth, really, really bad. I wasn't only addicted to it; I was slanging it big time. I was one of the biggest drug dealers on my reservation. What happened from with, that? Yeah. But I'm still here, though. But I'm Where? off of it. I've been clean and sober since 2005. Congratulations. So I mean, that's a big thing. For me. Let's see if we can do it. But she it's still good. sells it. All right, we'll continue with more. Stay right there. We'll continue. If you're in the New York area, be a part of our studio audience. Go to BillCunninghamShow.com or call us at 1-888-710-TICKETS. I'd like to invite you now to be part of the solution. Earlier, Nikita and her brother Darius tried to talk to their friend Terrell into leaving his gang before it's too late. Do you think Terrell will leave his gang? Call 855-TELL-BILL to tell me what you think. You'll also receive today's great offers. Call 855-TELL-BILL. Was friends and family versus the gang. He not gonna stop point blank period. And if he don't stop, that's oh well. I'm not gonna mess with him no more and I'll get a restraint order. Well, looks if like I gotta we do have that, decision. why would two that, beautiful women like you be in a gang for like 10, exactly. 15 years? Well, number one though is because I have to make money. Will today be their wake up call? Will you accept help from us? When you go back home of trying to get out of the gang lifestyle.
Our guests today are hoping they can talk their family members out of their street gangs before it's too late. We'd heard a lot from our guests. Now it's my audience's turn to speak up. It's time for Talk Back with Bill. Yeah! Yeah! All right. What do you got, man? How you doing, Bill? Good. I, I just want to say one thing to them. Um, talking about the gang. My, I have an uh, experience with gangs, too. Back in 86, my brother was in a gang. I'm from, I'm from New York. I'm from the projects and stuff like that. My mother was shot with a 357 Magnum. I lost my brother. Six months later, my mother was stabbed 27 times. Your mother? My mother. Why was Six your mother stabbed? Because of the gang. You see what I'm saying? Because of a gang. Guilt by association. And then three months later, I started losing relatives. One was pushed off the project's roof. This is in a project in New York City. And I'm the only child to this day that's living in my family. Wow. You see what I'm saying? They talking about gang? This one, talking about, this one talking about kids and stuff like that? I got nieces that I gotta be uncles and fathers too because of their father's not here. This is since 87, 86, and look at me today. I'm looking out for them and my own one child. You know what I'm saying? Terrell, listen to his experience. Listen to what Nikita and Darius has told you. Any hope later on you may change your lifestyle just a little bit, maybe not for you, but for them. I mean, I can't imagine having a friend who cares about me so much, he takes a bullet for you and he's still your friend. I'm not going to change. I'm just going to let you know that right now because you, everyone can say anything you want to anybody, but it's not. But look not. at your kids. You got your kids. You got to think about the kids. I think about them every day. Go, that's why I'm, that's why I'm out there hustling. Listen, the kids. Listen, that's why I'm out there working. Say, well, I have to. How about you go to. away? Who's going to be there for you? You said I'm you're not in gonna Seattle, go right? I'm Who's going to watch them? Your brother I got George him. is gonna, it's far away from home. It's inevitable. I got him. You it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I don't know. All right. Wonderful. I'm, I'm, be the father that is not present. Good job. Next up, you got a question. Come on up here. I got it. Hello. Uh, first of all, I want to say I don't judge nobody here at all because I've grown I'm, All my friends, believe it or not, despite looking at me, have been affiliated with gangs. Actually, I'm from Las Vegas. They're from the west side. They're and they're, so no judgment being passed on anybody. But what I want to ask is, do you guys got good self-esteem you feel? Yeah. yeah, I Westford? have high self-esteem. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Terrell, yeah. right? So, so you yeah. feel since you, you got good self-esteem, you guys could do yeah. whatever you put your oh, mind. Oh, trust me, I've tried to do everything. I went to school for pharmacy. That didn't succeed because I wasn't yeah. making money in school. school. I need to get money right away. Too. I mean, there's all kinds and of things I tried. Life's yeah. all that away. What Thanks. example is that for the five <laughs> kids you have? What example are you setting? I think that I'm setting a good example for my kids, not with the gang, but working, and they see me as a single mother working. But they know you're sure in the gang, they man. The they know you're in the they gang. Want. They know you're a gangbanger. They know it. George, doesn't her kids know, or are they, they going to find they know, they know. They know. They know. They know that you're a think, gang member. I don't, I don't think that they know. He thinks they do, but I'm pretty sure that they don't know. Maybe. You, you, she jumped out the car trying to get in a fight, and her kids come. Her little boy, like five years old, jumps out the car with the screwdriver to have her back. <laughs> And then her other daughter, 12 years old, grabs the, the car lock. It did. And, and I that, mean, it happens, but that's not the thing. That's, they're, that's, they're, they're, they're afraid she's, I'm going to get hurt. They're doing what you're doing. They're doing what you would have done. Five-year-old boy jumps out of a car to, to save you? Mother's back. It's, it, it, sometimes it happens, you know, and you guys do not know how we live every day or what we go through. I'm pretty sure everyone has their problems, None of us you know? can justify but, these decisions. We love you, honey, but these are things you can't do. Your fire, you was getting finna fight, you had your fire, your old, exactly. do something yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. They they just, know, when, that, and that, when you was that, five, if your mom was finna fight, she would have to That's true. I'm, I'm down with what he said I mean, right now because that's saying. true. If she wasn't involved and she wasn't in those movies, I know if I was nothing like that would happen. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. Our guests today are desperate to get their loved ones off the streets and out of the gang lifestyle, and hopefully our next guest can help. Please welcome former gang member Aaron Wright to the show. Aaron, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, Bill? Before we talk about a little advice and counseling, give us a, a snippet of your life and the life that you've led so far. Well, I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and I was the chief enforcer for the Mickey Cobra Nation in Chicago, one of the ruthless gangs in the city. I ran three buildings. And it was almost seven to eight hundred people that was on my count. That's where I want to be. I want to be where he used to be. I do. I want to be. I want to. I want to be in charge. So, I want wait, to be hold the Hold on. Boss. Hold on. Hold on. Can I say hold something? On. Hold Let's on. Let's tell you something. Let Aaron please finish. Can, can, I can uh, do hold, it. Hold, I can. hold on. Hold on. Sweetheart, I'm not gonna come at you like I'm finna come at him because you're a beautiful sister. Mm -hmm. You're a piece of meat. Come at me. 
we'll take you and rip you to shreds. You and that's where you got oh, everything oh, 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 wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, you don't I know me, you. though. That's... No, no, no. Listen, baby. Looks are deceiving. Listen. Homeboy. Uh, let me. Uh, <laughs> baby. Let me hold tell on, you Aaron, something. Aaron, go ahead. Aaron, you got the Let floor. me go tell ahead. you something. Baby, you got five kids. My son was 20 years old in 2008, got shot in the head because somebody wanted to stick him up in front of five sisters. Let me tell you something, baby. You too beautiful for that. Slow down. Slow down. Because I'm gonna tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. One thing you don't wanna do is bury a child. It'll take everything in your heart not to go against that person that killed your child. So slow down and be a mother, sweetheart. Talk You're beautiful. Aaron, talk you to Terrell for a moment. Talk to Terrell. Terrell. Brother, let me tell you something. You weak as water, soft as cotton, and creamy like buttermilk. Because let me tell you softest cotton but listen <laughs> listen baby i'm gonna tell you something you beautiful slow down because you ain't seen nobody get their face blew off like i have i've seen I, a lot of things hold on I've you might have seen but i lived it I've tasted done, it i've breathed. tasted it i've done listen, it too have you ever smelled some <laughs> always yeah no 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 no. have you been up 16 floors where you could see people in the in, in the elevator shelf have you seen somebody i know fit? i have a group on a hold reservation on. and it's a whole Did different did you see game. somebody right beside game. you Listen, brother, do what you got to do. Protect your nieces and nephews because yeah, I lost yeah. my son, dog. It's nothing. Yeah. I'm glad you got away from the game because I'm going to tell you something. If you need me coming, call me. I got a web page, everything. I come down there and stand on that. On that now, hold on. I never stand. Aaron, I'm Aaron, real good. Aaron, let's do this. What can, you know, he's gone. Uh -huh. What can his friends, what, what, can, what can they do? You all right, baby. Brother, tell him to kick rocks. Because he ain't on nothing, bro. He gonna get you killed, bro. Right before I came here, one of the young ladies that, that I grew up with, when my son got killed, her son was in the next funeral home. When I got here today, right before I got here today, she just lost her other son. At a church, bro. He went to go pay respect. As soon as he walked out the church, he got his, he got shot up, dog. Hey, kid, there's tears in your eyes. Are you hearing what's going on with Aaron? Hey, sweetheart, listen, if you need me, I'm a soldier. I ain't never scared. I got your back. And I bet you some of these people will ride with me. Because it's time. It's, it's over. It's over. You don't want nobody. Stop. Don't worry about that. Let them kick rocks. Blood thicker than mud. Right with your family, baby. Because I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I know it. Because I lived it, tasted it, breathed it. Do you. Do you. Dude ain't, he ain't on nothing. Look at him. He got a mohawk. <laughs> he's, sag he's sagging pants. Let me tell you something about our prison systems in, in Chicago. You sagging pants is in the, in, in the prison system. You soft. <laughs> They gonna call you Christina. So I'm gonna tell you something. Ride out with him. Sisters, I love y'all. Cause y'all queens of this earth. Y'all the next best thing to God. Slow down. You got five kids, baby. 
You don't need to live that long. Carmelita has I, three. I, There's eight kids I, right I, there. I, I, I heard you. I heard you in the backstage. Babe. You ain't going to be there for me at the end of the day to pay my Call bills, me. are you? I bet you are I will. these people? Call me. Oh, I, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. It's only me. Listen, if I, listen, that's listen, all it is. Listen. I, call me. Aaron, talk to Carmelita. Carmelita, you haven't said a word. What, 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 Carmelita, what are you thinking now? Uh, Carmelita, girl, please. <laughs> you, that, you, you're too cute for that. You, 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 no, you, I'm that, crazy. No, 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 this, uh, hey, listen. This all right, here comes crazy. Terrell. Hold I on, Aaron. Here comes Terrell. Listen, you might be. Be cool, Terrell. Be cool. I, I want to address you. Uh, what? What you want to address? All right, you from you in you in the gang and all. Oh, no, no, no. You, or I, you was right. Okay, yes, sir. You was right. You a clown, dude. I ain't you never come out here being disrespectful. Well, you and a you, clown? And you look at you. If you, you want to dress him up, your man on. Hold up, check this out. No, if you, you want to dress. Do that with respect, dog. Don't come at nobody you. like that, dog. Let me tell you something. You don't come at me you like weak. that, dog. You, you weak. You weak, bro. You weak. Bro. Because you in the strawberry. You, 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 you weak, bro. Anyway, I don't mean no disrespect. I, I, I'm trying to. That's a wrap. Our producers have arranged today for the three of you, Terrell, Carmelita, and Whisper, to, to get the help you need in your hometown, to get out of the gang lifestyle. That's what we want. We're going to throw you the rope. It'll be up to you to grab it and do what has to be done. When we continue, it's the bottom line. For more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. <laughs> Carmelita and Whisper, having heard from Aaron and from your family, will you accept help from us and when you go back home of trying to get out of the gang lifestyle at our, at our expense? Will you seriously consider accepting? Please. 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 One time. Let's go one by one. Carmelita. Yes, no, maybe. 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 Whisper. Yes, no, maybe. No. No. If you're desperate to get, to get a loved one out of a gang, here's the bottom line. Realize you may have to break ties with a loved one in a gang for you and your family's survival and their safety. Hopefully, your loved one will realize that a gang lifestyle is not the way to live your life. Until then, be patient. Keep the lines of communication open. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and we'll see you the next time. a hope maybe Carmelita or maybe Whisper down the road may accept I can't imagine between the two of them having eight children with mom as a gangbanger it doesn't work how about the five-year-old getting out of a car to defend his mom with a screwdriver a little five-year-old boy I hope the intervention that we're gonna pay for has some measurable impact in their lives if not I think the lives will be lost to the reservation or to the street